because digital platforms are creating universes, it really kind of makes me question and also explore what a reality is. Augmented reality and virtual reality really give an opportunity to ask those questions, you know, in a way that's visually pleasing, but also I think staying true to what the medium is. I'm Michael Sperandeo, and I'm the creative in residence at the Denver Art Museum for 2020. We're creating a mobile game app for your phone that extends its gameplay and interaction into the museum. So you're not just playing a phone game, you're playing a game on your phone that, that spills into the museum and is facilitated by like a scavenger hunt that takes you around the museum and also takes you to locations in Denver. And I'm a local here at Denver. I was born and raised, so I'm lucky. I've been able to see Denver really grow. The name of our game is called This Dot Truth. It's a play off of an operation, this dot, which searches until it finds whatever is after this dot. So in short, this game makes reference to the aspect of seeking truth until you find it. Uh, and so in the game, you're trying to stop a villain that is censoring what people can see. I wanted to play at this idea of a villain being one that would censor art and one that would remove notions of free speech. Um, and I think art is so important um, that I wanted to use a villain um, that would remove that. The goal is just to really relate with this character who may or may not overcome their fears, which I think is something very, very true to what, what we're seeing. The best way to put it is it started out as my wife. It really did. It was so funny too, because one of the first times that she saw that character, uh, she, she came upstairs and she was like, I have that outfit. And I was like, yes, nailed it. You know, and, and I think that that's important because I think understanding that there is a duality in every aspect. The lessons that I have had being a married man really has to do with duality, right? Because you're sharing, you're sharing an experience. Um, and so I think having a female character that was represented as my wife, but having the lessons be things that I'm learning um, speaks true to that duality. Basically, I thought it would be interesting to open up a little bit of transparency to the pipeline of making a video game. I think that uh, considering I'll be doing workshops, showing that it really is an iterative process, I think is really fun. Digital art is basically creating intentional works through software rather than traditional tools like paintbrushes or clay or um, any other more physical item. And I think what's central to that is the software. There are so many programs that are open source that are perfect for artistic creation. I got really lucky that I was able to do this residency during the lights exhibition because the lights exhibition is so parallel to the central vein of what my artwork is. This idea that um, there's sort of an enlightenment and there's sort of this ability to uh, use light as a metaphor and also the duality of the shadow, which is so close to this mode or code that I look to explore in my work as well. So what I'm looking to do with this is to invite people to look past this frame, to explore this idea that maybe a reality is simulated and there's something, there's something behind it that's running it. 